Hey guys, welcome back to Piping Engineers. In today's video, we will learn about nominal bore and schedule number. We will see what are the various terms associated with nominal bore and schedule number. What are the various standards used to calculate nominal bore and schedule number for a particular pipe. So guys, for more videos and updates, please like, follow and subscribe to our channel. So let's begin our today's video and learn about the different terminologies associated with these things. So guys, before moving to the video, we we'll see what is a pipe and what is a tube. So guys, you would have seen pipe and tube both in your day-to-day -day life. So what is a pipe? A pipe is a round tubular to distribute fluids, gases, and it is designated by nominal pipe size or DN. So that represents a rough indication of the pipe size. So guys, what happens is when we need to transport something from one place to another, we use particularly pipes for that purpose. So guys, what pipes generally does is pipe they are used for the transportation purpose of the fluids from one place to another. So pipes are basically designated by your either nominal pipe size or, or DN. So basically this nominal pipe size and this DN or this DN, it is a rough indication of pipe size. For example, if we need a DN 200 pipe, so it doesn't mean that the pipe size is 200. It is exactly 200. For a DN 200 pipe, OD of your pipe is about 219.1 mm and your ID will be varying with the change in schedule number. So that we will cover in the upcoming slides. And so what is about a tube? So basic difference between a pipe and a tube is that a pipe is only a round tubular thing but your tube can be rectangular it can be square or it can be oval hollow and they are measured with the help of their wall thickness so basically pipes have this nominal pipe size measuring content, content, uh, content in it which measures the pipe size while this tube is the size of the tube is measured with the help of the wall thickness so you can see i have shown various tubes here this is your this is your circular tube this is your rectangular tube and this is your square tube so basically different tubes are used as per the different process demands and different requirements of the system so moving on to next let's see what what are the different terms that are used in piping system what are the different terms that are used to designate the piping system so the first thing that we use to designate the piping system is your id so what this id means id is your inside diameter of the pipe so here i have sh shown this in blue color this is the id of the pipe next is your od od means outside diameter of the pipe so basically what this OD means, OD is this outside diameter of the pipe. And the third thing and the most important thing, this nominal pipe size. So what is this nominal pipe size? Basically this nominal pipe size is a imaginary line that is drawn between your outside diameter and inside diameter of the pipe. So basically we do not have anything such term while, in, while manufacturing pipe, this nominal pipe size. So this is a imaginary representation in between your outside diameter and inside diameter and with the help of this nominal pipe size or nominal bore we designate the pipe in the market when we go to buy a pipe we do not say that we need a pipe of OD 219 mm or we need a pipe of OD outside diameter 200 else we call we need a pipe of DN 200 or if we call it in a NPS system that is an inch system we say that we require a pipe of 8 inch so in some in most of the cases in large sizes pipes um, that is above 14 inch your OD uh, your NPS lies between OD and outside diameter of the pipe but while for your small pipes that is around for one inch two inch and one and a half inch your OD, your NPS is even it is it lies above below your ID so it is not like the ID or OD, NPS will always be in between your OD and ID of the pipe NPS can also be inside your inside diameter of the pipe so i have shown here an example for example nps equal to nps equal and above 14 inch so as i told you that nps for nps equal and above 14 inch outside diameter of pipe is equal to its nps and below it below it your nps can even be smaller than your inside diameter while for below 14 inch pipe it is not so for example dn 200 pipe for or 8 inch NPS pipe outside diameter is 219 mm as I already mentioned you and for thickness 40 schedule pipe 8.17 mm as per ASME 36.1 D your ID is 219 minus 2 into 8.7 that brings approximate equal to 202.71 mm so what I want to explain you here is that for 8 inch pipe your OD of the pipe is 219 mm while its nominal dia is 
200 so as you can see od of the pipe doesn't matches with your nps but while if your pipe is of dn4 if your pipe is of 14 inch or you can say of dn 350 your od and nps both will match and the pipe od and nps will have the same size so this this is the thing that i wanted to explain you guys here so moving on to next what is this pipe schedule so while while you go to a market either you have to mention that if suppose if i want if i go to a mark, uh, go to market if i want to a buy buy a pipe i need to tell that i need a pipe of dn 100 of schedule 40 so what basically this schedule means is this schedule depicts the thickness of the pipe and as the schedule number of the pipe increases your thickness will also get increased so schedule number is basically de derived from your modified Barlow's wall thickness formula and it is given by 1000 into P by S where P is service pressure and S is the allowable stress. So uh, what this service pressure means service pressure is the pressure that that is that is of the in internal fluid that will be flowing inside your pipe and allowable stress is the stress that will come in the pipe due to this internal pressure. And this allowable stress varies from material to material and varies with your increase in temperature. So allowable stress is dependent upon your uh, design temperature and the temperature at which your fluid will flow inside the pipe. And as schedule number of pipe is increased, the thickness of pipe will also get increased. So for example, as I've shown you here, thickness for schedule 40 pipe is 8.17 mm and while for schedule 80, it's 12.71 12.7 mm. So the point here I want to make is that with the increasing in your pipe schedule your pipe thickness will also get increased and in a separate video I will I have made you learn that how do we calculate the pipe thickness and how do we calculate the schedule number that is covered in a different video. So basically this video is for that what is the importance of schedule number in a pipe. So moving on to next applicable standards what are the different standards from which we take the value of schedule number for welded and seamless road steel pipe ASME B 36.10 is followed to determine the pipe schedule number and for stainless steel suppose if I am having a stainless steel pipe we will be using this 36.19 and this 36.19 is used to determine the schedule number of the pipes and what are the thing what what is the difference between the mentioning of schedule number for stainless steel pipe you will be the schedule numbers will be followed by this letter S so if you are having so if you are having some schedule number followed by this letter s so you have to you have to be very sure that this is for the stainless steel pipe and it has been referred from this standard that is 36.19 mm and this this both these standards refer to your american standards and in india what we follow in india the pipe thickness is selected from your is 1239 part 1 for pipe sizes up to dn 150 so this is for dn 150 and what happens if our pipe size is greater than 150 for DN1 and for more than DN150 to up to DN2500, IS3589 is followed. In Indian standards, there is no philosophy of schedule numbers. We have different thickness criteria for different pipe sizes, and that criteria has been mentioned in your IS1239 part 1 and IS3589. So, guys, this is all in our today's video. I hope you would have understood the meaning of schedule number, how schedule number is taken, and what is the importance of schedule number. Why do we require it in calculating pipe size that has been calculated that has been uh, covered in our uh, in our separate video. So do like our, uh, do watch our video on how to calculate pipe thickness. So guys, thank you for watching the video for more videos and updates. Please like follow and subscribe to our channel guys. Thank you for the day. Thank you.